Uh, thanks for the presentation. I uh, just had a follow-up question <clears throat> on, since we're talking about federal issues, uh, and obviously it sounds like you guys work with the federal government a lot. Uh, so in, in response to all of these uh, short-sighted and jobs-killing uh, deregulations that the uh, president is pushing forward and the, the jobs-killing budget cuts that he's um, proposing for the EPA, um, what, are, what are you guys looking at in terms of how that's going to impact you guys directly? You sort of touched on it a little bit in the presentation, but um, I heard there was a 25% budget cut for the EPA proposed. Um, there's a list of regulations um, that are very important to the environment that the uh, president has uh, decided to be short-sighted about and eliminate. Um, are, there, are there direct things that you'd like to talk about there in terms of how they impact your work? I, I guess what, I'd what I should say is we really don't know what's coming yet. I mean, we've had limited contact with EPA. I think they're trying to figure out things first. You know, we have the regional office in Chicago, and they're, they're busily trying to figure out the impacts. I mean, what I can say is what I've heard, um, that there was an anticipated 30 percent reduction in our grant, which would have severe impacts on us. That wouldn't, um, we'd have to figure out where to make the cuts, and it would likely be in some of the permitting. Um, it may be in inspections. You know, I just don't know how, is that 30 percent going to be, you know, 30 percent of each state? How is that going to be handled? But we would have to look at what that would be involved because we certainly don't have the funding for that. So it's something we're watching closely, but at the same time we have enough things to do and we are obligated to follow the Clean Air Act. And so we're doing everything we can to do that.